Yo, what's up, YouTube? I'm hyped as a frickin' frick right now. Look at this. I got 2,029 subscribers, and I just hit 1,000 like two and a half weeks ago. So that's frickin' amazing, dudes. I so before you start this video, I'm gonna have a little snowboarding and ski edit because I went, uh, I had a little preseason like teaser like trip last week. I went to Round Top and they had like a hundred square yard just like park. So I'll have a little edit. If you want to skip that edit, go to this point in the video and get straight to the shoe review. The Vans Gilbert Crockett versus Kyle Walker. All right, let's get into it. <laughs> uh, wait, <laughs> what's your reaction? I feel great. <laughs> so I haven't skated the Gilbert Crockett's at all yet. Look at this, they're still like freaking brand new. So I'm gonna do, go do a couple, I'm gonna do one ollie right now, then I'm gonna set up the tripod and do 25 kickflips and then see how they feel. Like test, I'm doing three tests in this video. I'm gonna test the breaking time, the consistency of the flick, and try to get a feel for the durability. All right, so here's my first ever trick on the. I think that was all of them, so let's continue this line. That's 25 kickflips already. They're feeling pretty consistent. I only like messed up the first one kind of. I just like jumped off. Here's a wear off 25 kickflips. I know this is kind of like CCS, but this is actually a pretty good test to like test break in. So CCS, you get credit for the kickflip test, but now it's time to move on. 
So far they're already feeling like the, the flick is pretty consistent and they're pretty similar to the Kyle Walkers which I have a lot of experience with so far. I've gotten four pairs in a row so now let's go change to the Kyle Walkers and they're really broken in already but we'll try to like test the like just how they feel and I still remember how they feel but I just go test. You got it? Yeah. All right. As you can see, these are broken in his grip, but I'm gonna try to judge them based on how they were when they were new. But right now, I'm just gonna try to feel it. I'm just gonna do like three kick flips. And... Stop it. Okay, so I'm starting to remember about how the Kyle Walkers feel. The toe cap on the Gilbert Crockett's is a bit more like squared off, but not like that. And the toe cap on these, or there's not like a rubber toe cap, but like, I mean, this part, the toe box, you can feel is way more rounded. And on that one, it gets a bit more narrow. So I feel like it kind of, it like affects the kick by being shaped a little bit more like your foot. So, you can get used to any shoe, and both of these are really solid shoes. But that's just something I feel about the the like differences in the toe box. Is the round one just you have to be? It's more accurate with the flick, but you have to be like more precise with your placement. If that makes any sense at all. All right, so based off just purely the construction of the Gilbert Crockett, this is what I was talking about with the more narrow toe box that makes flicking slightly easier depending on who you are versus like the more rounded one of the Kyle Walker. So it also has this suede construction, which is probably the most popular material that they put on skate shoes. And the reason it's only right here and probably right here for possibly heel flips depending on where you flick is because suede flicks the most consistently and the best and the Kyle Walker is built almost 100% with suede but the part that really matters most is only this part right here because that's where you're flicking most of the time so they're going to be extremely similar shoes because they're both built by Vans and they both have suede the only thing I'm going to say that gives this particular Gilbert Crockett an advantage is this gum sole. And gum soles flick and handle a bit better than uh, traditional rubber soles. But if this one just had a normal rubber sole, which uh, a lot of them do, then they would be practically the same shoe. And the only difference would be the more narrow toe box as well as the gum sole. So those are gonna be basically just the two differences between these two shoes. Dude, how freaking weird is this thing? So weird. You only stick on it right here. <laughs> Alright, dude, look, there's a crack. Alright, come here, film me. Right. Oh. Whoa. Dude, I can't believe we never had this idea. This is a freaking weird thing. Alright, I'm gonna get it right now. Whoa. I 
think that's it for the video today. We didn't want to film a lot of the same flat ground rail tricks that we used to just because my like, past 10 videos have basically been that. So if you guys have any comments for new suggestions on videos, let us know below. Yeah. Peace out, mate. Peace.